What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about the three things men immediately think about when you pull or they start pulling away, you guys go your separate ways, so on and so forth. More, more likely him pulling away, okay, in this situation. So jumping right into this, let me first start off saying, here are the things he's not thinking about. And you're not going to like this. Don't worry. I'm not just doing this to rub salt in the wound. I'll get over on why this is and how we can change it. Um, or you can just watch my other videos. But here's what he's not thinking about, okay? He's not thinking about you. He's not thinking about if he's going to regret the situation. You know, not the, at least this early. And he doesn't care if you're talking to others. Now, before you're like, Ellie, you're kind of, you're kind of mean. Why are you rubbing that salt in the wound? Why are you shoving my face in sand? It goes back to what I said in my other videos, where the, 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 the mind, the way we work is to avoid pain, seek pleasure. The way we know what's painful, well, besides instinctually what's painful, what's pleasurable is through experience, okay? And I call it evidence in this case. And what I mean by this is, here is the timeline, okay, of you two. Here's the timeline after you. He has no idea what's over here. Oh, but he knows what's over here. And if he's feeling the way he's feeling, I guess, right, all these negatives, like sad face, if he's feeling this way, the reason for that is there are things that happened along the way that he did not like. Maybe you guys just didn't have as much compatibility. Maybe he just realized I'm not as attracted to you as I thought I was. The attraction has ran its course. The relationship has ran its course at least. Maybe there's something you did. Maybe I realize I'm emotionally unavailable. Whatever it is, there's variables, I call them variables, that dictate how he feels. And if this is the case, okay, there's no reason, because he wants to go over here now. Over here has nothing to do with, like, you get what I'm saying? Like he, there, these are negatives. He has all the process, all the information he needs to go over here now, or to make the decision to go over here. So there's no reason for him to think about you. I thought about it. I know what it's like with you. I'm not feeling it. See you later. Okay. This is why I tell women you have to let a guy play out and and go out and do his thing and and you know before before he he can miss you. He's not going to regret it because it's fresh over here. He's thinking, you know what? I don't like this. I don't, I don't like the way it's turning out. I don't like where it's going to go. I'm just not feeling it. There's no reason for him to regret it. He has a narrative in his head that he's better off on this end, okay? So he's not going to regret it. And lastly, more, more, more importantly, a lot of women are, you know, will come to me and be like, well, should I make him jealous? Would he care about if I talk to other men? Should I post this? Should I post that? He doesn't care as much as you think he does because he knows if I go over here, right, I have to give up this. So he knows, again, this is why he can't regret it, because as of right now, he knows he has to give you up, and he's expecting you to talk to other people, which is why I tell women should you should be talking to other people. Um, he knows what he's giving up to get over here, okay? Now, with that being said, here is what he's thinking right away. And I really wanted to explain this, not for clarity, you know, not just for giving you clarity, but it kind of helps emphasize why he's thinking these things. So one, he wants to live it out. If he's over here, okay, and he wants to be here, he has this, oh, this is a dream, okay? Like he has this, this bubble in his head um, on, on, or this idea on what, what could be, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is he wants to get away from, I hate to put this, but he wants to get away from you. Maybe you did nothing wrong, but it's one of those things where I have to give up this chapter to move to the next one, okay? So he wants to get away from you, but unfortunately when you're coming to me or you're watching my videos, um, it's never that black and white. It's never just, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm the relationship ran its course, you're a great girl, see you later. Usually it's drama involved, there's conflict, fighting, this, that, ups and downs, people on different pages, playing games, and it's all drama. At the end of the day, he just wants to get away from it, okay? And of course, to prevent this, to prevent this, ladies, he wants to make sure he gets in a better position. So this means talking to others, okay? This means variety. That's not how you spell variety. Um, there you go. This means variety. This means freedom. This means going out. You know what? Going out. Writing real fast, so sorry, I apologize. But all the things he couldn't do when he's over here. 
Now, you may be like, he could do that. I let him go out with his friends. I, I gave him freedom, yada, yada, yada. Not the freedom that a guy wants. Not the fact that he could be able to talk and, you know, to whoever he wants, have his cake and eat it too, yada, yada, yada. Now, if that's the case, you're just talking to a guy who doesn't want a relationship. Because if a guy who wants a relationship, he'll stay on this end if it's worth it, of course. But in a nutshell, ladies, this is going to be a short video. This is just kind of what it is. Um, He's not thinking about these things because, like I said, the evidence. He's thinking about these things just to put himself in a better position because another way you can look at it is we avoid, say, uh, we avoid pain and we seek pleasure. Now, if you want to get a session with yours truly and we talk about your uh, specific situation, hey, links down below. If you want to get my guides and learn just more about male psychology, dating psychology, and become a 1% woman, again, links are down below. I love you all. Take care and peace.